Hi, today I'm going to walk you through how I align the blade on my saw stop compact table saw with the miter slot. The process is a little bit different than it is on a cabinet saw. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly, there's an adjustment block under the hood, you have to pop the blade off and uh, adjust that block with an allen key. Overall it's a pretty simple process, it took me about a half an hour to get it done kind of from start to finish. I built a little jig to help us do this and uh, yeah, watch along. Hopefully I can uh, save you a bit of time and uh, have some clean cuts going forward. Thank you. First, I made a simple jig that rides in the miter slot to hold the dial indicator. You can buy a fancy version of this from companies like Woodpeckers and a few other places, but I think this works out well enough and it's a heck of a lot cheaper. I happen to have a piece of red oak that fit perfectly into the miter slot. If you don't have that, you'll need to rip one down to size. I then used some CA glue and a square to attach the miter slot runner to another piece of red oak that I had. This is what we'll attach the dial indicator to. Then just pre-drill a hole and attach it to the indicator with a wood screw. It's important to measure from the same spot on the blade so you can take out any manufacturing tolerances or defects in the blade itself. You can mark a tooth with a sharpie, or what I did is I just used a little mark that was physically on the back of the blade as a reference point. I zeroed out the indicator and ran it back and forth uh, along the blade and the miter slot to see how it looked. You can see here, it's a little hard to read in the video, but I'm out about four thousandths of an inch. That was a bit more than I'm comfortable with. The first step here is to raise the blade all the way and to remove the insert. Next, remove the blade. This seemed like a good time to grab the vacuum and clean up some of the dust that had accumulated inside the saw. Next, crank the blade all the way down. I tried to capture this as well as I could on the video. You can see the alignment block here, circled in red. I found the saw stop video in this step a little confusing. The alignment block is adjusted with a 5mm Allen key that comes in your toolkit. It's a bit tight to get your hands in here, especially if they're on the meatier side. Start with small adjustments, maybe a quarter turn at the most, and uh, go from there. And here's where I said it gets a little bit fiddly. You need to reinstall the blade to confirm if your adjustments were successful. So it's going to mean a little bit of blade off, adjust, blade on, repeat, until you get it dialed into a level you're comfortable with. It's a little hard to see here because of the reflection of the lights, but it's a little under one one thousandth of an inch out. That's close enough for me for this. Well, and there we have it. Uh, wasn't too bad, a little bit fiddly, like I said. I ended up, I think, taking the blade on and off three times. Uh, was able to get it dialed in, and that worked really well for me. If you found this useful, I would really appreciate a like and, uh, you know, even a subscribe or just drop a comment below and let me know uh, if this worked for you. Yeah, overall, I love this saw. It's been, uh, been a really good addition to the shop, and I uh, look forward to using it for lots of projects we got coming up in the future.